guys, welcome back to the nice hash Bitcoin experiment, Bitcoin mining, or a project, if you will. Uh, here's uh, here what I have is the two laptops here. In the green, I have the i7 2720QM HP. That's HP Lite book. Both of these are laptops. And in the red screen here, I have um, the uh, HP ProBook 6460P. These are around 2012, 2013 models um, with an i5 and i7 processors. And uh, I'm just using processors to mine here. Uh, no GPUs, there are no GPUs on these uh, laptops. So uh, um, in case you're wondering, you know, if it's worth it, that's what this experiment is all about, about a little bit of education uh, for myself and uh, who, for whoever's watching to save you a little bit of time and research um so yeah the, these are the two laptops uh mining and uh, i'm just uh, streaming them uh live here um in the green let's see uh this one shows up to about 2012 uh mbtc a day um but actually it's uh, it's more than that sometimes it jumps now right now it's 300 it goes up to 450 sometimes it's uh, right now it's mining at about 536 hashes a second but it goes up to a hundred to about 800 sometimes um, yeah it just depends on the temperature and uh, if, if I'm doing other stuff on the laptop which I, I wasn't but sometimes I'm moving stuff around and I'm just playing around with this stuff it kind of the speed kind of slows down so and uh, the pro book um 209 at the moment uh hashes a second but it goes up to almost 300 as well and uh, so we can see here that we have an unpaid balance of 700 mbtc which is um we can see it here as well on the assets um over here and that's uh that's right here that's unpaid balance uh, you need a thousand of them, Satoshis, Tashotis, or uh, whatever they're called, to get paid. Um, and so far, uh, I've mined 4,000. Well, these two laptops have mined 4,161 uh, MBTCs, so not even one Bitcoin, obviously. And that translates to it shows it's showing here that it's about 39. Um, cents of our euro which is let's say uh 45 um cents of an american dollar or something like that um or um yeah so um in about three minutes the, there will be in the next payout however as you need at least a thousand uh it will miss it it's not going to uh count it in but that's okay the, the payout comes in every four hours so i'll keep these laptops mining just because i want to reach a thousand here before uh giving it away um so uh i want to reach um i want this balance to be transferred the unpaid mining balance to be transferred into btc wallet balance and then i want to finish the mining finish this little experiment and project and that's what the goal is here as you can see here i've been mining for a while this has been like kind of like an on and off project I started a while ago there are two miners here actually I played around with a few more other uh, laptops here and but uh, these are the ones that I that I stuck with that kind of are connected 24 7 well not 24 7 sometimes there's been uh, like two weeks of uh, downtime let's say where I went on vacation and I uh they were not mining i <clears throat> so uh let's see history and stats let's have a look over here um so uh yeah right now i've been whining with these two since the last restart for about 190 minutes 183 and this is the graph in case you're interested the profitability is going up slowly um very slowly so the average is for these two laptops at the moment 800 oh sorry 418 um point uh, something satoshis 
every every day every 24 hours so it's um it's quite laughable okay but here are the payments so you can see i started on uh i think uh, around june 23rd or something like that and then i uh took a little vacation took a break so i was not around and i resumed uh so but as you can see uh the payments coming in nine about 10 american cents or um um yeah eight of a euro point zero eight of a euro point zero nine and that was in yesterday yeah so it, it goes up to about a thousand uh a day so which means 10 cents 10 cents a day is doable even though it's not showing here sometimes uh, i i did manage to get it within a day so uh yeah sometimes it takes two days it depends on the algorithm that's used and uh yeah so that's uh that's what it is so weekly income it's not showing anything monthly income yearly uh, at the moment it, it comes on and off depending on uh um the stability of this the mining here i guess um so rig manager um here the two rigs minor 11 and minor 8 I did manage to to build a couple of them. I see, you can see minor eleven, minor eight. I started with minor one and two, and three and four, and uh, just, uh, I just I was optimizing them instead of virtual machines uh, as much as I could to get them to the fastest hash rate. Which, if you're interested, I'm going to make a, another separate video. Um, I just basically uh, took out a lot of unnecessary stuff and uh, chose the best virtual machine setup. And of course, I'm mining them instead of virtual machines because you know um, they're more secure, and uh, actually, um, it doesn't affect the hash rate that much as far as CPU mining. Um, I, I checked it out within a virtual machine and inside the, outside of a virtual machine, and and the results were practically the same, which is quite something quite interesting. Um, um, but yeah, mining instead of virtual machines just to uh, a little bit safer and um, um, yeah, I would never mine from, for example, from the laptop if from the laptop that I have right now here, um, where I have access, you know, like to the web browser and to my bank accounts and stuff like that. So it's just a little bit safer. Um, these um, this nice hash and these mining algorithms, like some of them are not open source; they're closed source and you know you don't know what they're doing on your computer right they could be um looking inside of your clipboard see what you're copy pasting what passwords you're putting into your bank account and stuff like that so you know it's um it's not really it's not really um i wouldn't consider this safe uh for a number of reasons but uh, i won't get into it right now so let's continue here um so yeah the two laptops here mining um i wanted to kind of my original goal was to give it away give away half of this and then continue mining um to to the people that post their bitcoin wallet address in the comments of any of the videos that i have been live streaming um but i ran into a little bit of a problems which um i'm going to get into right now so I'm, I'm actually gonna see if i can resolve that right now live uh well live recording and then uh will i upload the video somehow i want to give it away it's just uh there's a there's an issue like you there's a minimum there are fees and stuff like that which i didn't consider when i first advertised uh that you know i'm going to give away the the bitcoin to to the winning participants so i actually actually one of the there's only been um four participants or four people that left their Bitcoin addresses here um, in the comments, and um, uh, well, that's 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 all that there is. And um, and I know that sometimes what happens in YouTube is that uh, the comments don't actually appear until you know like a day later. So this is why I, I originally wanted to post this video yesterday, but I've been waiting. If anybody else submitted their Bitcoin address, but that's all that I, I was uh, able to dig up in the comments. So we have four contestants here. 
and I will um, pick one of them to uh, to take the lot. Yeah, I'm actually have another idea. Instead of giving away half, I'm gonna have to do something better than that um, because uh, because of the problem with the fees here. Um, but just bear with me. Let's um, um, let's um, let's have a look um, at the screen here. Um, let's pull up Nash has, which is I'm um, gonna pull up the screen here. Just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Here we go. Um, so as you can see, uh, this is the the mining balance, the Bitcoin wallet balance, and um, I'm gonna wait a bit before. Um, I mean, I will announce the winners in this video, but I will wait before I transfer everything till this is paid. This has been inserted into here, into the wallet, and then so you you don't have to mine or well, you can just take it all. Um, so. Um, Let's have a look here. Rig manager. Okay, so mining address. This is my mining address. Basically, when you install NiceHash, you get this mining address, and uh, anything that you mine from these rigs will go into this address. Any money, but this this is actually this isn't actually yet yours, as as it might appear. This is a mining address that is on the NiceHash server or or website and and actually it belongs to them until you take the money out of this address so the money that I have here is you know can't really be considered mine even though I can transfer this to the bank however there are fees which uh, we are going to get into next which means um, yeah it makes things a little bit complicated but well, I'll explain it it's not that much difficult but yeah in my case it did complicate um my original idea of what i wanted to do so this is the mining address that's where these uh these rigs these two laptops are sending the well um are mining into but that's uh, that's again that's just on the uh that's a mining address of the btc nice hash server let's go ahead and go to my dashboard here you have as you can see here two active rigs mining and right from the from the website, I can stop my rigs. I can stop the laptops from mining, which is quite interesting. You know, if uh, you have this kind of a control from a website, you know these guys can have this kind of a control as well. So this is why you know I'm mining from a virtual machine. You will just get access to the virtual machine and not the actual the entire computer, which is a little bit safer. Um, so. Um, let's see what I have uh, so yeah this is the recent activity this is um this shows you a little bit which coins are more profitable um, however I think the the algorithm here in nice hash automatically switches to what whichever one of these coins is more profitable I think I'm not exactly sure about that um, yeah if you know more a little bit more about that please uh, leave that from the comments we would really appreciate that um, so wallet details. Let me see. Let's uh, let's go into here. So that's that's my wallet details. And I can I have two options here. I can deposit. I can put money in from like a bank account or from like another BTC account. I guess. Let's see. Send only Bitcoin to this account, which is the same as my mining wallet. I guess is it? I think so. Let's paste it in here. Just curious. CK, CK, 33. Yeah, it's the same. So, yeah, so if I wanted to send myself Bitcoin from Coinbase or if I wanted to buy it, this is the address to use. And yeah, however, I probably will never do that. What I do want to do, what we're interested in, is uh, withdraw to take the Bitcoin out of here. Now, um, this is the Bitcoin wallet and here um you can add oh it's a little bit um that's that's uh, interesting it's a little bit uh broken here and this is the newest browser that i downloaded uh, this is the edge the new microsoft edge that was just released like last week or uh, at, at least uh, automatically um downloaded onto this windows 8.1 so 
So um, yeah, you, you add in the, the address that you wanted to send it to, you send it to how much you, you use, you write in the amount how much you want to send so that the coin will go from your Bitcoin address to this Bitcoin address to whichever you want to send. And of course you can add your Coinbase account or you can add another Bitcoin address. Let's go ahead and add uh, someone's address here from, um, let's see from uh, what we have here. Oops, uh, well that's really big. But let's um, let's add, um, for example, um, let's start. Okay, Danielle, here we go. I think that I, I've already added one of them. I was just playing around with this earlier. Not sure who it is. Let's add Danielle's here. Um, so um, yeah, I understand that sending funds to an incorrect address will lead to permanent loss of funds. So hope like that's uh, that's just basically telling you that. Uh, make sure that you send it to uh, to a Bitcoin address and that the address is correct. That this address is two things need to be correct. The address needs to be correct, no mistakes here, and it needs to be a Bitcoin address. If it's a different uh, type of a uh, coin, the currency will just uh, disappear or it will be sent somewhere else or I don't know. Most likely, it will just disappear. It will be lost forever. So verify. And then check your email account for verification code. Oh, this is the, the email account that I used to make this uh, um, this uh, nice hash account, which is basically like a temporary uh, address. And um, I'm gonna change that. Actually, uh, in in fact, um, yeah, I'm gonna give away this account. Just a little bit of a spoiler here. I'm gonna give away this account instead as and and you will find out why instead of the bitcoin itself so uh let's see and th this is the problem right here when i want to use max or any amount as that um it says here less than a minimum amount so this is the, the entire problem here that i wanted to give you guys you know i kind of wanted to divide it between the four of you and give you like a thousand each you know instead of having like a lottery draw um, but the minimum here is is this so uh, <laughs> I haven't managed to mine the minimum which means uh, I can't do anything I can't send this to I can't send this anywhere because you know there's a minimum so the minimum here how much is that and I was curious about that and I uh, went into um, I suppose right here and that, that's um, a hundred thousand satoshis a hundred thousand satoshis which is uh <laughs> which means that you know in my world i have just four thousand so i have um uh, how much is a hundred thousand well it's 10 euros or 10 american dollars more or less um well the, there's a huge there's a bit of a difference between the euros and dollars i guess now but uh let's keep it at 10 let's say so um so unless uh, I mine 10 euros or uh, 10 dollars I guess um, I can't do anything the, the account the money actually isn't mine yet I have to mine a minimum of a uh, of a hundred thousand of these uh, satoshis so this is quite useless you know I mined all this these these laptops uh, have mined all this for nothing right so um, so yeah, um, I was um, kind of in a dilemma of what to do. I have a few ideas. Um, obviously, I'm not going to keep continue mining with two laptops until um, until I reach 10 euros because that would be something like 100 days, you know, which is uh, ridiculous. Um, so um, so what I what I plan to do? I'm just going to give away this nice hash, nice hash account um in in its entire form so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to give you the um to the winner um i'm going to give you the the email address and i, I doubt i will change it probably i'll just keep it the same and then i'll send you the the password which i used to create this account and then you know the entire account will be yours 
so uh, you will be able to go into here and uh, change whatever you know you can even change your email address to something else um, you can you know uh, right now I'm in Spain as you can see here so you can change uh, anything on here I had a phone number I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't put anything here I kind of but yeah, it lets you, the account will be yours. I will give you the, the email and the password which will let you, allow you to log into this account and, and then you can do whatever you want with these uh, 4,000 or by that time it will be 5,000 in a moment. Satoshi's uh, account limits. Well, this is the account just in case you're curious. Um, security. Yeah, you can change the password if you want once you have the account and service uh, yeah this is kind of strange my organization uh, there's nothing here withdrawal address uh, this is where you can add uh, new addresses so let's let's go ahead um let's uh let's add the the other guy well I, I guess it doesn't matter but well let, let me just try one more fun streamer here okay fun streamer I'm, I'm adding you here just uh currency Bitcoin just to demonstrate how to uh, add how to add people um, into your wallet addresses I guess and yeah the ver verification code goes there but uh, I'm not sure if you need to verify or not it, I have no idea but anyways yeah so um, I have no bank accounts, obviously. So yeah, that's uh, that's how you send um, the Bitcoin, except you need a minimum of a thousand Bitcoin mined when using NiceHash. Well, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed, NiceHash. You know, I, at least you know there should be some kind of an incentive for new users, I think, because you know I, I'm disappointed, and you know my um, this project is kind of. <laughs> You know, a disappointment and kind of like a failure. There should be some kind of uh, what I think. Uh, instead, I, I suppose you guys don't care about this, but you know, at such minimum amounts. But you should give, you know, like 10 free withdrawal fees or something like that, you know, just to keep uh, keep your customer, keep people, you know, mining here. If you want, uh, <laughs> if you want people to stay on this platform, you know, there should be like some kind of a two or three or, you know, or five or you know maximum of 10 free withdrawals where after that it goes to your minimum here but right now I uh, well you know people are I suppose from this video from another they're just going to figure out that you know it's not worth mining such little small amounts so I just wanted to show you one more thing uh, before continuing here talk about the fees a little bit so um, nice hash their fees are quite expensive I didn't uh, didn't expect it. Oh, it looks like a looks like a bug. Yeah. Sometimes it's just uh, this new browser um, on Windows 8.1 sometimes kind of glitches out. But then you refresh it and then it's back to good. All right. So um, yeah. So here you need uh, at least a thousand satoshis mined for it to be deposited. Into, well, this kind of doesn't matter you can get a thousand easily but a uh, hundred thousand in order to withdraw or to do anything with it at all make it yours is is much harder you know so they give you like a thousand to play around thousand you can probably reach with a couple of laptops well I've done five thousand um, with two laptops um, so yeah it's doable uh, but a hundred thousand uh, probably um, you know, if you're just like using some old equipment, that's gonna be tough. So let's see, let's continue here. Withdrawal from NiceHash. This is what is important here. So Bitcoin, if you want to withdraw to any BTC wallet, again, that's the minimum. A hundred thousand satoshis. Uh huh. Yeah, let's uh let's look this up. Actually, I'm just curious here. Um, let's see how much this will convert to. Google. So how much is that to USD? Uh, uh, yeah, because I, I don't have the BTC here. 
here we go so you need to mine at least uh, nine dollars worth of Bitcoin in order to be able to do anything to, to claim it as yours um, and then yeah which is which is ridiculous and how much is that to euros I'm just curious remember Bitcoin price goes up and down so it's like a little bit different eight euros and um, okay and Canadian dollars since uh, okay so there you have it 12 Canadian dollars as well um, so that's the minimum you cannot do anything with your with this money unless you have at least a uh, hundred thousand Satoshis uh, you can't withdraw to Coinbase you can't use this everything has a minimum 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 um, yeah Coinbase to, to asterisks here what does that mean um, let's see dynamic adjustment based on current blockchain conditions and network fees yeah so you'll pay the network fee will which will um, yeah which will be you know kind of the same as as this this minimum here it says here free um, but um, but there will be a fee which will be the network fee which is uh, it's not really free is it um, so that's that's the cash um, and as you can see here 1% this is quite a lot the fees are quite a quite big for nice hash here so to get your coin you know um, well anyways uh, let's go back here that's like straight at the bottom here I just uh, noticed something you know um, they give you like the, their incentive uh, tires you know oh, lifetime activity once you reach a certain level you'll be you'll never okay so you will get this rate this amazing uh, you know discount here but you only need to um, mine uh, how much is that that's three zeros six zeros nine ah yeah you only need to mine uh, 100 billion euros worth of Bitcoin and then you'll have a really good deal like why is this even here are you guys kidding me um, yeah that's that's just ridiculous uh, <laughs> yeah uh fees yeah they they really screw they really you know mess with you with the fees everything has fees but this nice hives that's uh this is really you know a killer a nail in the coffin here for me um um or maybe not that uh, you know maybe i'll do it just for fun and and just uh maybe i'll switch to like a different uh platform and yeah continue a little bit so um yeah this this uh this kind of um what i wanted to tell you guys here you know um this uh, <laughs> if uh you just need to reach a hundred billion to get this great uh you know transaction fee and we'll only deduct a couple of million a couple hundred million as a fee once you you know you're transferring at this rate which uh, brings me to uh, kind of you know this picture here that I found on the internet yeah first set a tiny a reachable tiny goal such as earning only a hundred million you know that's what nice hash is all about that's what it seems like this picture represents it perfectly uh, with that uh, this statistic here um, okay so let's continue here and coinbase um, Coinbase has a lot of fees as well like nothing is free here so even to put in Bitcoin and take out Bitcoin you have fees and any transfer of Bitcoin you will have fees as well so it's just like fees fees everywhere so if you put in 10 euros they'll take out one euro or ten dollars they will deduct one one dollar and so on um, and then credit card fees um wire transfer key like everything has a fee here and it's it's quite expensive buy and sell transaction fees journal fees who knows what fees conversion fees variable fees like you know it's like you can't do anything for free here um 
withdrawal fees. Can you really avoid paying Coinbase fees? No, you can't. Uh, according to a couple of these articles that I read, selling fees like there's there's always something you know one. There's always something here. So you know if uh, if you're buying, you buy a hundred uh, dollars worth of Bitcoin, they're gonna take out three dollars from that, and then so on. Yeah. So so everything has a fee. Just keep that in mind when you're dealing with cryptocurrencies. Um. Let's see what do we have here. This video take, is taking a, a while. Yeah, as you can see here, more more info about fees, flat fees, and um, spread fee. Yeah, so you know, it's like uh, nothing's for free here. Um, and then so yeah, um, so what I wanted to do, and instead of Coinbase and paying their fees, I, I kind of uh, I downloaded something called Exodus. And this is kind of like a, a wallet that seems to be free. That you know is like a it's like a app application or software that has um, that has a wallet. And of course, if you if I want to take it out of my NiceHash account, I will have to pay a fee. But once it's in here, um, I suppose uh, there are no fees. There there might be a network fee for transferring and and or something like that but I, actually I'm not sure I just downloaded this right now just before starting this video and if you're interested it's uh, it looks quite interesting um, you can basically take your wallet offline so instead of uh, having your wallet in like coinbase or having your Bitcoin in like coinbase and nice hash wallets this will allow you to move it to like a USB drive or keep it on a computer and stuff like that right so this is quite an interesting uh, concept uh, and and you can just go to this website exodus.io slash download I guess and then click on this exodus download here for Windows and then it will download I already downloaded it here so uh, so uh, actually uh, I suppose I can show it to you guys I have it right here so uh, I know this takes a while to launch it's uh, I don't know what it's doing. And then again, I have a couple of virtual machines running on this computer here right now at the moment. So, um, so this might be the reason. But um, yeah, Exodus Crypto Wallet. That's uh, that's what we're gonna look at right now. I'm really gonna stretch this video. I, I I didn't expect it, but yeah, I wanted to to give a little bit of a feedback and explanation of why, you know, I just can't say and simply send you the the Bitcoin, you know, in like small tiny amounts, which I thought I could. But um, in fact, I what I wanted to do is uh, if I could transfer it into here, and then from here transfer it from a small amounts into each one of the people here that have uh, left their Bitcoin wallet address but yeah no go Nash ha nice hash I'm disappointed with you guys no incentive for a uh, real unless you're uh, you're going you know to set up a, a farm you don't really have a uh, great incentives with you guys all right so yeah this is uh, this is it this is Exodus wallet and what do we have here we have if you click on that, welcome to Exodus. And um, it's loading something. I suppose it's loading the prices. It's still loading the prices, I guess. Oh, taking a while. Whatever it's doing. Um. Okay, no idea. Uh, this is a little bit difficult to read. And um, okay, yeah. So Bitcoin, yeah. So it's just showing you the prices and where the market's going on them. And uh, if you click on this folder here, or store your wallet, so you can. Uh, 
move your wallet offline I guess and then restore it and then put it back and then I, I suppose the the interesting part here is is over here which um, let you exchange Bitcoin for Ethereum and something else but um, my question is how do I send my send myself some Bitcoin or send out Bitcoin oh here we go so you click on this and then you click on okay well click on this no okay well that that's that's uh, a little bit glitchy here we go uh, so you can send and receive um, so if you click on receive you'll get this Bitcoin oh this is really difficult to see isn't it um, that's because I, I disabled a bunch of stuff here um, I think it uh, has to do with uh, clear type turn on clear type so that's going to make uh, the text easier to read okay yeah that looks good okay yeah probably if I restart um, that's gonna be easier to read but yeah this is uh, that's it that's uh, that's my Bitcoin address here from uh, from Exodus so if I wanted to send for example if I did have a minimum of eight euros or ten American dollars in my nice nice hash account I can send it to this uh, this address to this nice uh, to this Exodus Bitcoin address and this is quite useful because you can use the QR code as well you can put that on your website if you click on um, what does this do okay so this uh, block chair whatever it is what is this doing uh, so it's showing you the transactions that have been made I suppose um, why is this visible for I wonder if this is visible for everybody based on this uh, address I guess and then you get the QR code which is not loading here but I guess this is the QR code so you can use that and you can you know leave it somewhere online if you want someone to pay you they can pay to this address and then you can take the money out and put it into coinbase but don't forget about the fees which that's where they will get you all right so that's that's exodus that's uh, quite useful quite an useful uh, app here and then of course you can receive you as well you can send so you put in the web bitcoin address and if I had some money in here I could send Bitcoin to that address but I obviously because of hash a uh, nice hash I don't have anything all right um, what I wanted to tell you guys so you know this this project that uh, I suppose uh, it's a little bit of a fail uh, um, so um, but what I want to do actually before uh, continuing here is um, what I what I want to do is um, I just can't leave you guys hanging so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to to make the lottery right now and make uh, choose one of you guys and uh, I'm going to give away this entire account um, with all of these uh, 4,900 plus well what happened did it get deposited no 700 so yeah by the time yeah it will be about 5,000 uh, Satoshis so that's what you will be getting so I'm gonna wait till uh, this is uh, deposited once this hits a thousand it will get uh, deposited into here and then I will give away this entire account here this I'll give you this well you can see the the email I will just give you the password and I will send it to to uh, to your email or or wherever you want me to send it so winners pay attention leave um, leave uh, your comment in uh in the video in the section video section of this uh, in the comment section of this video leave um leave a comment of where you want me to to send the password for this account um so you can get access to it and then you can do whatever you want with it you know i just i just made it temporarily to play around so this uh, 
39 I, I suppose uh, when this goes up this this 40 cents will be yours which is like 50 half a dollar half American dollar will be yours um, so now um, on to the lottery so um, how do I do this I, I was thinking of, of doing it like this um, let's uh, let's just uh, make this a little bit uh, smaller 22 I was thinking of doing it like this um, to assign there they're basically four people so I'm gonna assign a, a number to each uh, and one of you so uh, I guess Daniel is going to be number one uh, fan streamer is going to be number two Viper squad is going to be number three and then turn new Moore is going to be number four so that's that's the way uh, it's going to be and then and then we're gonna go into let's go into Google there's uh, that random Google it's for um, random number generator here we go so it's gonna be it's gonna have to be a number from one to four right so um, once I click on generate here um, this is going to generate a number from one to four, and that's how we, that's how we determine the winner. That's that's how it's gonna be. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and and do that right now. In three, two, one. Number two. So who is number two? Fun streamer. Yeah, you're the lucky. You're the lucky person, fun streamer. So, uh, fun streamer, um, I'm going to to send you the the well. You have the email. Uh, well, I'm going to to send it to to you anyways, uh, and then I'm going also going to send you the password um, for this uh, nice hash account, and then you can do whatever you want with this um, forty cents. That's going to be like forty or forty one half a dollar, let's say half American dollar. So half a half an American dollar for posting a comment. <laughs> of course, this way, if you manage to get this money out of your account somehow, let me know. One way I, I thought you you can what you can do is basically insert um, or send um, what is it like you know like ten euros or ten dollars into here and then after that withdraw it um, all like take everything out. So that that will let you withdraw like the remainder of this into your whatever account. But then you know, so that that's one way. <laughs> if you want to go down that route, um, that's entirely up to you. But yeah, fan streamer, you're the winner. Congratulations. Yeah, don't forget um, leave a comment, uh, leave your email address or or somewhere. I don't know, like wherever you want me to send it. I suppose email would be fine and then I'll send you um, um, or I guess maybe I can read yeah leave, leave your email in the in the comment section of this video specifically this video just uh, it will be easy for me to find and then uh, I will uh, I will send um, send you the, the the password and then the account will be yours you can claim this uh, nice hash account I will make another one if uh, I decide to continue with this uh, quest for mining um, which actually I, I, I might just because I wanted to tell you guys before I I um, finish off this video I wanted to tell you that I, I do have um, a GeForce card coming um, and this will be uh, which one is it um, um, it's this one here MSI GeForce uh, it's a 1650 G4 1650. Um, so this is the card that's uh, that's uh, actually I, I already have it. I, I do have it already. I just don't have the the motherboard and, and CPU that's coming that are going to be used with this card. So um, so you know I might decide to to make a, like another video with another account and, and give away that account. So stay tuned if if you enjoy this video. You know, um, I might uh, definitely, uh, if, if uh, there's enough interest, I'll do another lottery giveaway um, and, and see if I can distribute all this nice hash 
money for you guys if, if for some reason I, I am able to get over 10 um, $10 maybe divided amongst everybody who participated or something like that um, so this is the card that's coming and if you're in case you're interested I have um, there's a there's a calculator which you can use on the nice nice hash site profitably calculator and let's see here that's where it is spiral protection yeah probably need that for this up okay so um so my card you can actually calculate how much money you can make a day depending on um um on what you're using here so uh, let's put in let's find my card here that I will test out that's an Nvidia or is it ah here we go 1650 it's a 1650 it's not a 1660 it's not a 1650 super it's a 1650 GTX so calculate <clears throat> yeah let's see how rich will I become daily minus the electricity costs which will make me more poor than I started uh, let's see 36 um, a little glitch 36 um, 36 uh, cents or a point of a euro a day which um, um, let's see how much that is 0. Euro to in case you're wanting to Canadian okay why not so let's do uh so 56 uh, cent Canadian cents and USD let's check that and uh, 41 cents American cents a day which is uh, again quite laughable but yeah that's uh you know all this basically um all this that i have been mining for like two weeks or a month on and off but yeah let's say all together daily it was coming to about poof, uh, i suppose uh one f one fifth or one sixth of this or one fourth of this so i'll be able to make all this money that i'm sending out giving away today i'll be able to make that in a day or even more more than that than in a day so uh, you know when the when I plug in this card and uh, try it out uh, I might be able to get to 10 American dollars somehow one day in 2030 uh, okay so but you know um, I hope hopefully and um, hopefully this account doesn't doesn't get hacked or anything like that uh, I I think uh, you know that I didn't make the password quite easy but you do have the, the email which means you only need the password so you know if there's some kind of a some some people trying to brute force this account hopefully it, um, yeah that that won't happen and yeah if you try to hack this I will have my I'll go after you yeah me and uh, 4,909 of my Satoshis or Hatoshis yeah so don't even think about it yeah so that's um that's that yeah so um that's what I'm gonna be making and and of course one other thing that I wanted to mention actually to stretch this video even further for uh, no apparent reason other than information and a little bit of education here is that uh yeah over here i have um of course um i'll also have the cpu mining which the, the cpu that's coming is a xeon cpu which is um let's see here which is um this one here that's the one that's coming and this is the Poskmark score which is equivalent this is the, the xeon that will be version 2 
that will uh, be included in this motherboard with this uh, graphics card and so this uh, this is equivalent to this processor as far as speed uh, that's as close as I can it can get it's a little bit faster not by much probably won't make that much of a difference um, it does have uh, more cores as well this one has six cores 16 threads oh this one only has half of them um, however the it runs at a much higher frequency so overall the average CPU score should be the same and uh, according to this calculator for this processor we'll be making eight let's say uh, 10 cents a day 10 cents 10 or 10 cents a day so combined with this uh, video card we might be able to get to if we overclock it to about half a dollar a day half a dollar a day yeah so this will be uh, an interesting uh, interesting experiment I think so stay tuned if you're looking for if you would like to know you know how uh, how that works out because definitely I'm going to try it at least for a day maybe two if uh, if I like it um, just to see how uh, how it's mining using real graphics card and a Xeon CPU um, Pay attention, click the bell, and uh, like my video, and, and stay tuned uh, to my channel. Definitely subscribe if you're interested in mining Bitcoin. And, um, and you will be able to, to get more info like that. Um, what's this? I'm just curious what I have here. What's this? Uh, blocked. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the... Okay, yeah, so well, I can close that. Well, that's that does it for this video. That's that's what I wanted to do here. And uh, again, guys, if um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that um, if, um, yeah, the, the, the rigs are still mining. So they're going to keep on going for another one or two or three hours or something like that. Until I get that... Uh, that payout and then yeah meanwhile guys i'm gonna finish the video but yeah if, if you like this video and if you learned something useful don't forget click on like subscribe and even better click on uh you can see it here there's a little bell next to the subscribe button if you click on that uh you'll be able to get a notification about uh, the next video that comes out out of my channel thanks for watching